Coming in under 35 foot and 12,000 pounds dry, the all new East to West Sahara 325RL is ideal for state and national parks. With dual opposing slides in the living area, an easy out sofa in the back, huge kitchen countertops, deep island, double pantry, large 16 cubic foot refrigerator, king bed up front, and three ACs standard. Folks, this RV right here is going to blow you away. All right, let's start off right here in the campsite slide. Um, I personally really like when manufacturers do things a little bit different, and East to West has absolutely done that with the Ahara. Now, you have your standard dinette theater seating here in the rear living, not super mind-blowing, but a couple things that I really enjoy. One of them is this. I think this is just so stinking smart. They have a bench seat, but this bench seat can actually be pulled out. Dun, 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 dun. You have a ton of storage underneath, but folks, this is a giant ottoman. You can pull this into the living area. You can use it as an extra seat over there if you want, or as you're sitting on the couch, you can put your feet up on it. You know, turn it sideways, turn it lengthwise, so you can have it almost like a J lounge over there. I think this is a fantastic idea, and you basically have a dedicated spot to store it. Um, I just think that was really, really smart on their behalf. You'll also notice, of course, big windows all the way throughout here. Um, every window in an Ahara opens. So if you're looking at like the side windows on the slide where a lot of manufacturers will have non-opening windows to save a little bit of money, Ahara wants to make sure those do open so you can get that good cross ventilation in your slides. I like the light here a lot too. I like how it's just down lighting over the table. A lot of times I'll just put puck lights which disperse the light a lot. But right here, you know, I want to be able to see my food. If I'm playing a game, I want to be able to see the game. So I like that it is focused downward. Again, sometimes for me, it's those little things that make a really big difference. You'll see electrical outlets and USB ports right down there in that box. Uh, next to that is our powered theater seating. Now, having power is great because that way you simply touch a button to have it come out and then obviously another button to have it go back in. You have USB ports built into the uh, recliners here as well and some cup holders right there. Now, the cool thing about this is that if you so choose, this one can have a solar package option. And with that package, you get 320 watts of solar, you get a 50 amp MPPT controller, and you get a 2000 watt inverter. And with that, almost all of the outlets in here are inverted. Like it's not for uh, the fireplace, the microwave, some of the other big uh, usage appliances, but things like this or your outlets in the bedroom, even the TV outlet is actually inverted so that you can watch all that, use all those outlets, even if you are camping and you don't have shore power. So for example, your power theater seats will still function even without shore power. And then right over here in the back is the easy out sofa. Folks, this is probably one of the best sofa. It is actually, in my opinion, the best sofa in the RV industry currently. Um, you know, we've seen a few advancements. We used to have your standard pullout uh, bed, which was terrible because you have like that bar in your back and the mattress is this thin. Then you went to the trifold, a lot more comfortable, pretty easy to make up. But what would happen is you would have some varying levels from where the pieces would fit together and it just kind of is an uneven sleep. This right here takes it to the next level. This easy out, you pull up, it comes out, boom, that's it. That's all there is to it. You can see how this is all almost entirely flat, super comfortable. This folds down so that your pillows don't fall back there at night. Like something like that is just so stinking smart. Like it's such an easy thing to do. I love that they built that in. And then to put it away, I mean, all you have to do is just pick up on it just like this. I mean, I can, look at that. It just stays there, right? Just, it's all there is to it. Super, super simple. And again, very comfortable furniture, very durable as well. Allure has really kind of gone uh, out of their way. They've gone above and beyond with this sofa right here. On both sides of your end tables with electrical outlets and USB ports there, storage all across the top. And while we're looking up, let's take a look at the ACs, folks. This is really cool. This is the only manufacturer I've seen do this. You get three ACs in here standard. You'll see two in this main living area and then one up in the bedroom. Now the two back here, the thing I really liked about it is these are just direct cool. It's not ducted at all. And why would you need it to be ducted? It, you have two of them here. It's gonna cool this space down so fast 
All three of them are 13.5K BTU ACs. It's going to do a great job of cooling it off. You can run two ACs, two of the three on 30 amp service. You can run all three at the same time on 50 amp service. That is amazing. Probably one of the best cooling RVs in the industry to date. And again, I love they don't have vents back here because that's a lot of times where your AC issues happen is by failed ductwork. Now, if we move into the kitchen and kind of living room space, if you will, because this is where the TV is, but what you'll notice is you have a eight and a half foot solid surface countertop over here. So you get a ton of prep space that opens this up. Backsplash goes all the way up to the cabinets. You have two large windows in here and this bad boy lifts up just like that to bring out a 50 inch TV. You get great viewing angles, whether you're sitting in the theater seat or on the sofa. Storage all across the top here. Entertainment center with room for your, um, uh, whatever, like DVD player, Blu-ray player, whatever else you wanna put in there. I'll open it up, I suppose, give you a look. But you have plenty of space right down there for any components. You have speakers on the side, 5,000 BTU fireplace underneath at 5,100 technically. Um, and speaking of heat, this one has a 40,000 BTU furnace. That's a big upgrade. Most of the premium or luxury fifth wheels will have a 35,000, so it will heat your RV better. And you have heated, enclosed, and insulated underbelly with the forced air ducts run to it, plus you have 12 volt tank heating pads. So if you plan on doing some cold weather camping, you'll be fine here. All your valves and everything are insulated. Absolutely wonderful for some of that, uh, for the full timers looking to do some cold camping as well. The kitchen island, one of the other things I love about Ahara is the fact it is built on a wide body chassis. And why four inches may not seem like a huge difference, it allows for things like this. Look how deep this kitchen island is. This is one of those spaces where four inches makes a huge difference. And it gives you a ton of space here, plus even more storage underneath. You have the high rise faucet, you have the sink top cover here, the drying rack, undermount stainless steel bowl in there. Uh, absolutely awesome, plus, you gotta check this out. If you know me, you know I love a dedicated space for a trash can. Right over across the way is our recessed three burner cooktop with the drawer underneath. So great storage there. More, you know, storage all the way around here, folks. I'm telling you, it is just storage galore. And 16 cubic foot, 12 volt refrigerator. This side right here will be your fridge. The left side will be your freezer. Now, if you so choose, you can get a gas absorption fridge in its place, but it will be a small, I think it's 12 cubic foot instead of the 16. Uh, but I personally really like the 12 volt. This is the biggest 12 volt fridge currently in the industry, by the way. All right, and last before we head out of the kitchen is our double door pantry. Now, this is really cool and I enjoy the fact they put this in here for a number of reasons. One, of course, just to have the space. I mean, look how big the pantry is on one side. You get fully adjustable shelves on the other, but this one, especially here on the right, really gives you a lot of versatility in customization because you can move those shelves depending on, as I mentioned, how big your items are, or if you want like a broom closet for well, a broom or a Swiffer or something like that, you can take some of those shelves out, have all that space underneath, or, if you want it for a coat closet, because how often do we ache for those in an RV? I know I certainly love when a manufacturer puts one in. You can hang up your jackets right here, remove some of these shelves, keep a few of them down low, and now you have shoe storage and a spot for your jackets. Absolutely wonderful. Uh, take a look up top, you kind of have some storage there as uh, my good friend Aaron holding the camera pointed out. It's an excellent spot for board games right there, and I absolutely agree. So overall, love what they did right here. Huge, huge win. Make our way around the corner, um, our, the, it is the main control panel. So, you know, pretty simple, easy to use. You can see everything is kind of located there. Max air fan will be there. If you do get the solar option, this is where your um, inverter uh, will be located. The control for that will be here. And you can also see your two ACs. You have one for each AC unit. You will have a third unit right up in the bedroom. As we make our way up there, you will see the built-in grab handle. I love that. And, a pocket door into the bathroom. How many times have you been in a fifth wheel and you go to get in the bathroom and you do one of these? You open the door and you're like, oh, excuse, hold, hold, hold on a second. Let me, let me do this and then let me get back up here. It, it's a pain, it's terrible. This is so simple, pocket door, boop, easy. Also, this bathroom has two entrances. You have one right here to the main living area, another one over into the bedroom. So if you're like me and you have to get up six times a night to pee, 
Is that bad? Is that, is that an issue? <laughs> you, can, you can get out of bed, come right in here, do your thing, head right back in, you're good to go. You can see here in the corner as well, you have porcelain bowl, plenty of elbow room, great leg space. Love that they were smart enough to tilt it on an angle to give you all that additional space. Big countertop, folks. How much do you ache for that, yearn for that in your RV is having some decent bathroom countertop space. They give you more than enough. Good storage down below, big medicine cabinet there. One piece fiberglass residential shower. Thank you. It's nice. It looks nice. It's solid. You don't feel like you're going to fall through the floor. You have a seat over here so that if, you know, you need to shave your legs or I'm going to be honest, even just washing my legs, you know, I, I don't know about you watching, but I have a seat in my shower at home and I can like, oh, that's awfully convenient, right? I love having a seat there. You have some shelves, you get the hand wand, extra large hand wand, right? More bigger, more better. There's that. Right up top is your skylight, lets in a ton of natural light, also gives you plenty of headspace. For those of you that don't know, if you haven't seen my videos before, I'm about six foot tall, just to kind of give you an idea of space. I can walk underneath this door without hitting my head. I come in the bathroom, I can walk all the way up here into the closet, all of that without having to duck down. So plenty of headroom space right up top. As I promised, the third AC, and the thing about this one, this one is ducted. But what you'll notice is you have a few ducts here in the bedroom and then it's a straight run into the bathroom. So that way your bathroom stays nice and cool. And they, cause they realize that, you know, otherwise it's just gonna cool down your bedroom. Your bathroom is just gonna be a sauna. So they did put one run in here. Love it, love, love, love what they did with the AC system. King bed folks, 70 by 80 inches, that full 80 inch length. So if you're long, your feet aren't, if you're long, if you're tall, <laughs> your feet aren't going to hang off. You'll also see shelves on both sides. Uh, windows on both sides and again those do open there is an auxiliary light up there which uh, it's not currently on you know what? I'm, gonna, I'm gonna turn it on real quick just to show you because one of my favorite things is a manufacturer put in an auxiliary light oh it's not blue I love it it's clean it's functional it looks great very well done uh, as we take a look up front we have the wardrobe as I mentioned and because they use the space saver frame from Lippert instead of the step up being right here where it's super in the way as you're trying to get around the bed it moves it all the way into here so you can kind of take a step into your closet to actually grab your items and not have and not hit your head in the process and again shelf up top big hanging rod and over to the side folks if you're going to be full time and you want to do laundry nice and easily there you go washer dryer prep and that is enough space for a stackable unit so that way you don't have to have a combo unit because as we all know they're awful so this will give you the option to get that stackable at the foot of the bed is where your tv will be located you get the window plus a set of drawers and underneath the bed take a look at that they didn't waste any space boom nice big drawers under there but folks i know it's gorgeous in here they've done a fantastic job this is a great 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 floor plan especially for being under that 35 foot but just wait till we go outside and you get to see how it's built all right, so when we step outside, let's kind of dive a little bit into construction because while yes, I want my RV to look beautiful and I want it to be functional and be the right floor plan naturally, I also want it to last a while and that's important to me. And Ahara has done an excellent, excellent job when it comes to construction. One of the first things that really struck me as being very different, especially in the luxury fifth wheel segment, is the exterior. So you have a beautiful fiberglass exterior on here, but right behind that, most manufacturers will use Luon, which is a wood substrate, and it's fine. It's been used in the industry forever, but then something better came out, and that's Asdell. And I love the fact that Ahara put Asdell in all their sidewalls, because it does a number of things for you. One, it's gonna be stronger, just right out the gate. Also, it is lighter weight, so it's stronger and it's lighter. Why wouldn't you use it? But on top of that, it's green, so you don't have off-gassing, and it uh, won't absorb moisture. And so what that means is, if, I don't know if you've ever seen some older units where they have the bubbles, that's called delamination. It almost completely, uh, it's like 99.9 .9 some percent chance of eliminating delamination. So that is huge, absolutely wonderful material. Why doesn't everyone use it? Well, because it costs a little bit more money. But for me, 100% worth it. I love that they used it in here. Uh, also, drop frame construction. That's a big one. If you're gonna be, if you're gonna say that you're a premium fifth wheel, uh, top of the line, you have to have drop frame. 
and that is exactly what they've done here, which is why you get so much storage. The reason you get all this storage space. What is drop frame, you ask? Well, real quickly, you have an I-beam that runs underneath on this chassis, and what they do is they take a second I-beam and they basically stop the first one here, then they go boop, put another one underneath it and weld it, and then it goes the rest of the way. So you can see that second I-beam right down here, and of course the fully enclosed insulated and heated underbelly, but that is that I-beam right there, so it gives you basically all of this, well, like right here, all this extra storage space all the way across. Again, does it cost a little more? Of course it does. Is it worth it? Absolutely. Awnings. Talk awnings real quick, folks. You get two power awnings on here. I mean, this whole thing, this whole side has awning coverage, which is phenomenal. Power awnings. I can walk underneath both of these at six foot tall. I mean, obviously this one, but even on the slide, I can walk underneath it without hitting my head. Which, speaking of, if we come around to the off camp side, take a look at this. A slide out. I can walk underneath the slide out without hitting my head. That's a big deal. A lot of times these bedroom slides will be located like right here. You're not paying attention. Come around to swap out a propane tank or mess with your auto level or get in this side of the storage bay and boom, you smack your head. Now you're unconscious. That is not the way we want to start our camping trip. So I love that it's nice and high. That auto level controls I mentioned is there. Your propane tanks, one on this side, one on the other. And take a look at this. You have slam latch baggage doors on all of your compartments, not just on your, your pass-through, which of course you have them here. You also have it on your propane and your compartment up front. Convenience center will be located right in the back. I want to show you a few quick things. One is the fact it is nice and easy to winterize. You also will see your battery disconnect and your valves are insulated. I talked about uh, you know, four season camping. This one has the capability to do it. Nice big furnace, insulated valves, fully enclosed and heated underbelly, 12 volt tank pads. Uh, you know, if you're looking for an RV to do some cold weather camping, this right here is an excellent choice. Now, depending on where you are, you know, I mean, if it's going to be negative 15, yes, you're probably still going to want to skirt the RV, but the fact it comes with all that does make it a premium option for uh, cold weather camping. Now, to get into the RV, you get the more ride step above steps. Uh, pretty common stuff in some of our higher end fifth wheels. Love that it has it. I mean, shoot, even a lot of travel trailer brands are using these now, and for good reason, because they are very solid. Aluminum treads on there so they won't rust. Big foldable grab handle helps you get inside that RV. All right, so if we drop down low, one of the things I really want to point out are the tires and suspension because, hey, this is what the whole fifth wheel's riding and sitting on. The thing I like about this is they are 14 ply G range tires. And when you have, you know, a bigger fifth wheel, chances are you're gonna put a lot of stuff in it. So I like having the higher load capacity, uh, which is part of what gives this one such a high carrying capacity. The other part of it is the axles. You have the upgraded Dexter Gladiator axles on here, which are honestly overbuilt axles. I really love that they have them in there. You get bigger leaf springs as well. Uh, so they really did a lot with the suspension and you have the more ride uh, CRE 3000 in there for that three inches of travel. So that way it's a great ride going down the road as you're towing it as well. Electrical outlet underneath the awning in case you need to plug anything in. Then as we come around to the back, you'll see a few things. Propane quick connect so you can hook up your favorite Blackstone or Coleman grill, whatever you may have. Ladder so you can climb up onto the fully walkable roof. Not only is the roof fully walkable, folks, but honestly, the slide box is too. Now, within reason, right? You know, if, if you can't climb the ladder, you probably shouldn't be up on the slide box, but that is a fully laminated slide box all the way around. I mean, the side wall is laminated, the top is laminated, so you can get up there making it much, much easier to clean. Another thing I want to point out is right down here, you do get this accessory hitch. So if you need to have like a bike rack or something like a four bike rack, you can slide that right in there. Folks, this is an absolutely killer fifth wheel. I know Ahara is new to the industry. You know, some might be saying they're untested, but I'm telling you, the brains behind it have been in the industry for a very, very long time. It is super well built. It is absolutely gorgeous. The 325 right here is the perfect length coming in under 35 foot. This is one you do not want to miss. If you're interested and you would like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Thanks again for watching, folks. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.